Hello friends, and welcome back. If you're just joining us, then you're just in time. Dash is here in the blue and beautiful, or blue-tiful, White Rabbit Theater, where Dash has just to dust the temperature down to a biting 20 degrees to make sure that the blob stays rested. And Dash's timing couldn't be better. We're shortly about to begin our second showing of the blob for this afternoon, and we don't want that creepy crawler to get a big head. Does the, does the blob? Does the blob have a, does the blob have a head? <laughs> Dash is very excited you could join us today. This is the second time Blobfest has been held <clears throat> as a virtual event, and your return viewership means a lot to us. We are truly happy to keep this tradition alive however we can, and if this Rondo ha- If this Rondo Hatton Classic Horror Award is any indication, you're happy we could as well. Thank you to everyone who voted for last year's Blobfest to be the best virtual event of 2020. We sure are proud. And now, as Dash mentioned, we're just about to begin our next showing of The Blob. In case you missed it earlier and there was any interruption... This is where Dash introduces the next movie. He gets a little long-winded, but he's really good at it. <laughs> Miss Blobfest 2019, 2020, 2021, and OG. Hi. How good of you to join me. Don't mind us, Dash. We're just showing Roxy how the sausage is made. <laughs> We're showing her what goes into making Blobfest. Hi, Dash. Big fan. Oh, wonderful. Well, uh, Dash is going to introduce the next screening of the Blob, so... Uh... Oh, just carry on. Take it away. <laughs> you won't even know we're here. Okay. Uh, as Dash was saying, in case you miss... How does he get his hair so sculptural? Trade secret. Some say he was born with that hair. Tell you what, uh, would, uh, would Miss Blobfest 2021 like to come here and introduce the movie with Dash? You mean it? Of course, come on down. Go ahead. Yeah, you'll do great. We'll be right here if you need us. Well, uh, now, as Dash mentioned earlier this afternoon, The Blob and all of the rest of these movies uh, we're showing today were introduced by Jack H. Harris, hence the name House of Harris for the theme. That's right. In fact, according to Harris, dye was added to the silicon to create The Blob to give it that deep red color after every victim it attacks in the film. You'll notice that when Olin Howland first encounters the creature, it's transparent before becoming a deep, almost blue color eventually growing into the big red blobster we all know and love. That's right, and the film's production company, Tony Lynn Productions, was a combination of the names of Jack Harris's two children, Tony and Linda. It's also worth mentioning that this was the first film Jack Harris produced, after working for years as a film distributor. That it was. Uh, this was a feature film first for many of the talents involved in the production. Not only was it the first film production by Jack Harris, but it was also the feature film debut of star Steve McQueen and Anita Corazon. <laughs> it was The Blob's debut as well. After the 1958 film, Jack Harris produced three more Blob-based films, including 1972's Beware the Blob, the 1988 remake of The Blob, and 1991's Blobbermouth, in which the original film was redubbed to give The Blob a comedic voice. But none of those shenanigans tonight. We're going to stick with the OG classic Blob. Filmed in and around Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, the home of the iconic Colonial Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, freaks and geeks, The Blob. How'd I do? They grow up so fast. 